we're starting from the home page all right so in, in with a regular as in a regular alignment you're going to start from the home page and select horizontal alignment you're going to install all your dimensions just like you would in a normal alignment but the thing you need to most importantly is to go to the coupling selection page and select card and shaft and there's a picture of it it's pretty obvious right the um, after the dimensions are in and your lasers centered in the, the sensor, you can go to the measurement page. And note that, uh, that there's a red dot inside of the centering square, and we're ready to measure. If we type, if just like on the screen, it says tap the um, M button to take a measurement, and it will take one measurement. Now, one measurement is not enough. You need at least five. So you're going to close the target screen. You're going to turn the shaft a little bit of the way. And then you simply loosen up the pull down bolt slide and rotate the coupling slider relock the sensor on open the measurement and if you look on the screen it'll be watching for a stabilization now when the when the m stabilizes it's ready to take a measurement you simply push the m button again so now we have two readings get close the target turn the shaft another section of rotation Loosen up the spinner, let, let the slide go, relock in the sensor, tighten the slide, open the window. I want to watch for stabilization again. It won't take a measurement unless it's stable, and then you simply push the end button just like in the directions. Now you're going to want to take at least five, but you're going to want to get as many measurements as you can in as far of a rotation as you can. So the goal is to get as many measurements, just like in alignment, as you can, in as much of a rotation as you can. Now, I realize with a card and shaft, you're not going to be able to turn the full rotation almost never, but the more you get, the better. So we got four readings. Again, turn the shaft. Okay, loosen up the spinner. Loosen up the slide. Recenter it in the target. Tighten the slide. Open the window, wait for it to stabilize. Select the end button for measure. And we have five readings and results start to show up. Again, like I said, always the more measurement you can get, the better. So just like in a regular alignment, you're gonna to wanna to get as many measurements you can as possible. In as much of a rotation as you can. It's more important to get more of a rotation than it is to get as many measurements because the more of the circle that it sees the more now notice in the wedge around the measurement it turned green green is a good measurement we're going to, keep, we're going to go as far as we can in one rotation it's not measuring while it's moving it only measures once it stabilizes you can see We took seven readings, okay, over a course of 161 degrees. We could probably even get one more. Let's try to do that. Okay, we got eight readings over a course of 178 degrees. And we're going to end the measurement by selecting the check mark. Okay. Now, just like in regular alignment, you're going to retake your measurement and check for repeatability. We don't have time for that now, but in the real world, you're definitely going to have time for that. So, notice the results are in angles. I'm going to go to the results page by pushing the results button. Now, on the results page, you can see that one of the feet of the motor has been blacked out. The, the corrections for fixing an angle would only require you moving one end of the motor. Now you can, however, if you want to select either the front of the motor, like I did there, or the back of the motor. Okay, now if you select the back of the motor, you can notice that my vertical is okay. I just need to make a side move in the angle. Now there's the live move button. We select live move, just like we would in a regular alignment. And we're gonna loosen the feet up. Watches the live move while we move it. Now, 
by just my jack bolts. You can see the live move happening. The numbers at the feet, also at the coupling. Right now, the bad one is red. When they turn blue, you're in tolerance. Now, what the heck, I'm gonna shoot for a much better number than that, so I'm gonna keep on going until I get to a really low number. These numbers for results are in degrees. They're not in thousands like any other alignment measurement. It's just a degree. The acceptance tolerance for a cardan shaft is a either as you can select either one quarter of a degree or one half of a degree. Okay. So you, you end the live move by clicking the selection button. Now notice the, the results are showing angles for the vertical and angle for the horizontal. They're both blue, they're both with intolerance. Job is complete. Now you're obviously going to remeasure just like you would in the real world. You simply go back to the measurement page and you can work your way back because this particular tool doesn't care which direction we go. All right? So, again, we have to we can find get this easily. Takes five measurements to get a set of results. Well, simple enough. It's important to know that you really need to be able to move the shaft to take this kind of measurement. This isn't like, like a sliding bracket where you can take these measurements without both of the machines turning. We do have sliding brackets for other applications, but you need to be able to turn it. So we got five readings. We got a good set of readings. Go to the results page and we should have a nice happy smiley face. And there you have it.